Hey bodies, welcome to Mass Games, my name is Simon. As part of the UK Games Expo Press Pass Collective, I have the opportunity to contact numerous people who were exhibiting. One of the people exhibiting was a chap called Chris D. Winnan, and he'd created a book called 3D Printing for Tabletop Games. Now, he hasn't paid me to do this, he just happened to send me a PDF of the book in question, and I thought, okay, I'll give it a read. Now, it's around 360 pages, and I don't own a 3D printer. I have received things that are 3D printed though, and I've also customized some things. So if you want to check out the dice distancing videos that was made using a 3D printer, the Dice Tower. And of course, in this video, I'll be telling you about this book. And I won't be showing you the actual copy, but I will be showing you some sample, which you can find on Amazon. So if you want to look at that, of course, you can check this out as well. Aside from that, please, of course, you subscribe, share and like. And via the description, you can follow over 2,200 photos on Instagram and support the channel via Patreon. So this particular book is very in-depth into the world of 3D printing. I, I read this quite quickly. I did read it cover to cover and I uh, found it quite quick to read, as you can imagine. And it, there's a lot of print, there's a lot of pictures in here as well. And I didn't realise not only that the cost has come down for printing, a lot of these terms I found very applicable in other walks of life whether it be in other things to do with board games, but also outside of that, lots of um, economical terms, which I found very useful, and I've actually found be very handy in interviews, amongst other things. He really knows a lot about 3D printing, about the initial uh, history of it, including the sizes. I didn't realize 28 millimeter was a standard size, as well as various other things, such as the different styles of graphics that you can use to make them, as well as sculpting and things such as how even eyebrow features are important. So as I keep on scrolling down, again, this is just a sample of it as well. Obviously, you can see there's a fair amount of text, but the, it's interesting to know how much, uh, I guess, he's researched into the different technologies, the way that certain IPs have come around as well. Now, my rating for this is an 8 out of 10. I've got very little to compare it on, but I was surprised how uh, engaged I stayed with the book. I wasn't necessarily anticipating reading all of it or even covering even as much as, you know, the first 10 odd pages, 30 odd pages. There's a lot of stuff on Kickstarter and about how things have done well and why miniatures seem to be an important part of how things work. And I can definitely relate to lots of things with many other people talking about it. There's also stuff in here as well as uh, obviously the miniatures you want for a game. You can also look into things such as that terrain element and how to build things, and how to produce exactly what you're after, as well as the various levels of paints as well that you could be involved with. As you can see, I'm already 80% of the way through the sample. And by all means, if you want to just check out that as well, uh, I'm not suggesting you buy the book, but of course you would could well consider doing so. I didn't realize, I don't think it was two nineteen two ninety nine in terms of dollars when I first saw this. So aside from that, you're also looking into obviously the costs and where you get it made, the fact that you can make it yourself and various things too. So this has been the 3D printing for tabletop games. Um, I, again, uh, in my overall opinion, if you're not into 3D printing, this still might be quite of interest to you. I'm surprised how much it might be. And also, of course, if you are, then I think this is a great overview. I wouldn't say it's in detail. Well, it's in detail. Um, if you're new to 3D printing, considering it, this is the kind of market for you. I think it's very much a good generalist book. If you're looking for something really specific, um, you probably already have the book, to be honest. It's very much if you um, you hadn't known too much about 3D printing and you're keen to, from a, perhaps a point of view of either looking to produce your own or maybe for a company from that perspective. So there we go. Thank you, Lou. And of course, let me know your thoughts.